What happens if you don't change the oil on time? I live in Europe and in Europe we have a general rule of thumb to change the oil. We have to change the oil on average every 15,000 kilometers or around 9,000, 10,000 miles or one year, whichever comes first. In the USA and in other countries, I suppose it's a little bit different. We have to change the oil a little bit sooner. I suppose it has to be because there are colder areas in uh, Canada or in the United States in the north. And generally, if you live in a cold area, it's recommended to change the oil a bit sooner because you have lots of different temperature changes. Like you have from zero degrees Celsius to 100, where the engine runs optimally, or I suppose it has to do with uh, the temperature changes. It's something to go from zero to 100 degrees Celsius repeatedly, and it's a bit different to go from 30 to 40 degrees if it's a hot area to 100, 110 degrees Celsius. So if you want to have a healthy engine in the long run, you have to change the engine oil as soon as you can. Ideally, I would say between seven and 10,000 kilometers or around 5,000 miles. There's this guy on the internet who has a Honda Goldwing. He bought it brand new and the Goldwing went almost 500,000 plus miles, which equates to over 800,000 kilometers without disassembling the engine. It's a naturally aspirated engine, doesn't have a turbo, it's a motorcycle engine. Generally, motorcycle engines don't last as much as passenger car engines or commercial uh, engines. So how did this engine last so much? The secret lies uh, in changing the oil very, very frequently. To be more specific, every 3000 miles. So if this guy uh, drove his motorcycle or, or has ridden his motorcycle for 500 plus thousand kilometers. It means that the motorcycle went through over 170 oil changes. And in the Goldwing, you need around five liters of oil. So around almost, almost getting close to a thousand liters of engine oil have been in this motorcycle. So it's a bit amazing. The secret of having a healthy engine is to change the oil as frequently as you can, but without exaggerating. Like you don't need to change the oil every 500 kilometers or every 1000 kilometers because it's too much. But uh, if you change the oil between five and 10,000 kilometers, it's ideal. What happens if you don't change the engine oil? Well, first thing you will decrease the life expectancy, the lifespan of the engine. Second, if you really don't want to change the engine oil after around 30 to 40,000 kilometers, you will see this coming in your engine. If you don't change the oil for over 30, 40,000 kilometers, you may see this stuff appear in your engine. This is basically melt plastic or melt up engine oil. Engine oil is made of petrol, oil, crude oil, and plastic is also made of crude oil. So basically you have some polymers, some tiny plastic molecules in your engine oil, in your synthetic in engine oil. And, and if it wears and tears too much, at some point it melts and it becomes sticky and it sticks to your engine components. And at some point you, you will not have any lubrication and your engine blocks. It stops running. So basically the full lifespan of an oil is around 50,000 kilometers, 40 to 60, it depends. If you want to avoid such things, you need to change it before 20,000 kilometers, even if it's a long life engine oil. To be honest, the long life engine oil is okay as long as you drive it smooth and you don't uh, s expose your engine to a lot of wear and tear. If you want a healthy engine, change the oil as frequently as you can between the 5,000 and 10,000 
mile range or between 7 and 15,000 kilometers. And of course, use a high quality engine oil. If this information helps you, please give me a like, it helps the algorithm. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next episode.